All right, now today's video is going to be quite exciting, interesting, as well as useful because I'll be sharing some very interesting tips and tricks for the notification panel and quick panel on One UI. If you love watching these contents, be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better. Give this video a like. Let's reach at least a thousand likes for this video. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Now, a lot of you guys do connect your phone to an external Bluetooth speaker and play media, right? Now, for that, you can quickly go to the quick panel and we have got this play music toggle here on One UI. You can tap on that to select the music application that you want. And what you can also do is, you can tap on this media output button which you see over here. Let me just tap on this. Now here you can see we've got phone speaker volume slider and if there is any other device that you have connected, you will see that here. But what is really interesting over here? Now for that, let me tap on this settings button over here. We have got Google Cast playback settings. Let me tap on this. Here you can see we've got two applications, YouTube Music and Spotify. Now let's say if you're someone who play music through YouTube Music, just tap on this, you get two different options. One is mirroring and the other one is casting. Now let me just tap on what are casting and mirroring. When you do mirroring, the media sound will be sent directly from your phone to your speaker. You'll be able to play files stored on your phone, but you won't be able to play, pause or skip tracks using the speaker. And if you select casting, if an application supports casting, like YouTube Music does support casting, media sound from the application will be cast from the application to your speaker. You'll be able to play, pause and skip tracks using the speaker itself. So that is the main difference here. If you do mirroring, you won't be able to control the music using your speaker, but if you do casting, you'll be able to control the music using your speaker's buttons. You can play streaming media, but not file stored on your phone. If an application doesn't support casting, mirroring will be used instead. So that's the difference between mirroring and casting, and you can choose the one that you want for the application on which you're playing the music. This is something a lot of users might not have explored. So go ahead and check this feature out. The next feature is pretty cool. We have got nearby devices toggle right here on the quick panel. Now let me tap on this. This is a beautiful, cool animation that we get to see on nearby devices and I just love looking at this animation here. Now it's very easy to connect the devices using this. As you can see, we have got all these devices at the bottom. If I want to connect my monitor, I can just drag it and drop it over here. It'll get connected with that pretty cool animation. Then let's say I want to connect my watch. I will just drop it here. And when I want to disconnect it, I can just drag this and drop it over here as simple as that. Now, most of you guys know this, but what is really interesting over here? Now you can see I've got another device here, S24 Ultra. Now let's connect this. I will drag and drop S24 Ultra over here. And when I tap on this, you can see I get three options, quick share, storage share, which is a new feature on One UI 8.5 and auto hotspot connection. All three can be enabled right from here. Now I have got a notification, a pop-up on the S24 Ultra, as you can see, allow S25 Ultra to access the files on this device. I'll tap on allow. Now you can see the storage here is open and I can just tap on this open and I'll be able to access all the files from the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So the storage here on One UI 8.5 can be accessed right from nearby devices, which is pretty cool. Now you can also see we have got this option view storage. I can tap on this to directly view the storage or I can tap on the pop-up that we get as soon as we connect it. And like I said, the storage share feature between the phones is currently available only on One UI 8.5. And to disconnect the storage, again, I will drag this back over here and tap on disconnect as simple as that. The next step is song search toggle on your quick panel. Yes, the song searching is pretty easy using the quick toggles and that toggle is available from Google. As you can see, I have added the song search toggle right over here. When I tap on this, you get this beautiful animation on the home screen itself. And this is also seen on the One UI 8.0. You can check it yourself, add the song search toggle onto the quick panel and start searching the songs right from there. That's a pretty cool option that we have. Next, you can add the TV remote control right onto your quick panel. It's pretty simple, go to the quick panel, tap on edit option and tap on add control. Search for TV remote here and just select that. It will show up right here on the quick panel. You'll be able to directly access the TV remote by tapping on this. Just in case if your TV remote is spoiled or if you're not able to find it in the house, then you can just open the quick panel and tap on TV remote and you'll be able to use it. Now, since I've not connected it, it is giving me this prompt to connect it to my Bravia 4K TV. Once connected, you don't really have to connect it again. It will show up right here. Uh, all you need to do is tap on TV remote and access the remote control. Next step is adjusting the 
torch light on the quick toggles. Let me just open the quick panel here. We've got the torch option. You can tap on this to turn on the torch, but did you know that you can press and hold on this toggle to increase or decrease the brightness of the torch? Now, of course, most of the users would know it, but if you're new to Samsung, then you should check this out. You'll be able to adjust the slider here, increase or decrease the brightness using this slider, and you can use it. That's how we do it on Torch. And likewise, you can press and hold on any of the toggles to access its additional options. For example, for brightness, we have got adaptive brightness, adaptive color tone options. For screen recording, you can press and hold on it to go to the screenshot and screen recording settings. For power saving, you can directly go to the settings by pressing and holding on it. Press and hold on the volume bar to go to the additional options like Dolby Atmos, equalizer, etc. That's how you do it on the quick panel. Next, we will be able to increase or decrease the grid size here on the quick panel. And this can be done through GoodLock application. Let me show you that. Now, as you can see, we have got four toggles in a row. Now I can increase it. All you need to do is go to GoodLock application. And here, make sure you have downloaded the QuickStar module. We've got some updates as well. Let me just quickly update QuickStar. Now it's updated. Let me open QuickStar. And here we've got change quick setting button grid option. Just enable it. And you can see we have got wide and narrow options. If I increase it to maximum, to narrow, as you can see, I have got six toggles here. And if I reduce it to wide, then I have got just three toggles here. Now, depending on your requirement, you can set it. If I uh, bring it over here, you can see I have got still, I still have three toggles. I'll increase it to still have three toggles. I'll bring it to middle. I got four toggles here, five toggles here, and six toggles here. Now, depending on your requirement, you can customize this. This is a pretty cool option that we have. And currently on One UI 8.5 beta, it's still not supported. We will get the support very soon with a brand new update to the quick start. Next and the final tip is about the notification panel. As you can see, when you bring down the notification, you will be able to press and hold on a notification and drag it to open it in split screen or pop-up view. For example, I have got a notification here. I can just press and hold on it and drag it you can see we have got pop-up option. If you go towards this area and this area, you will get the split screen option. You can just drop it over here to open that application and open another application on another window. This is gonna be very useful for multitasking. All you need to do is just press and hold on a notification and drag and drop it in a particular window, as simple as that. Now, these are some tips and tricks I wanted to share with you guys. If you've got any other additional tips, do drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to download our wallpaper application, Wallverse. We are adding a brand new feature very soon. The auto wallpaper changer feature is coming to the Wallverse application. You will get an update in a few days. Go ahead, download the application. The link is in the description. While you do that, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a like as well. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.